So I'm a little confused as to what's going on. I got online today and I noticed that everybody's talking about PewDiePie's racist. PewDiePie was dropped from his network. He's being demonetized, kicked off YouTube. He, he supports Hitler. He hates Jews. All this bullshit. And I'm sitting over here like, what the hell did he do? Did he tweet out something racist? I am completely lost. I went online, I was looking around for information, and I noticed that Ethan uploaded, you know, H3H3, uploaded a video entitled, Is PewDiePie a Racist? I have no idea what's going on. I thought I would react to this and just see what's going on because before I jumped to any conclusions, I want someone else's opinion because right now I'm kind of pissed off. It seems like the internet just wants to kill, kill, kill celebrities on YouTube. And I have no idea why, but again, we're going to watch this and find out what's going on because I am completely lost as to why the internet's saying that he's racist. Guys, I just got off the group chat with my parents. My dad says PewDiePie is an anti-Semite. My mom says, what did he say? My dad says, kill the Jews. Wait, is he being serious? I regret to inform you, Felix, that I will be dropping you for my Twitter follows. There's no way you're being serious. See, be unsubscribing that's got to be account. what they're talking about. There's no way you're being serious. Actually, no. That's ah, just a goof. I knew it. Felix is a great guy. He's not an anti-Semite. And I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I am lost just as much as you are. I know. Sorry. I'm sorry. You guys hate when I pause. But I don't know what's going on. I'm completely lost. There's no but way he's racist. You probably heard the news that Felix was dropped from his network that YouTube canceled his show. He's being denounced. There's like 20 articles calling him a raging anti-Semite. I feel like Why? as a Jew and somebody who knows Felix and is friends with him, I'm in a unique position to talk about this situation. So as far as I can tell, this new round of hit jobs on Felix started from the Wall Street Journal with a article. The Wall Street Journal wrote on PewDiePie. <laughs> The Wall Street Journal. Listen, I'm sorry, but do you guys not have something else to write on? I mean, PewDiePie, in the grand scheme of this entire earth, is really insignificant. He's a guy that makes videos on YouTube. You got Trump, you got wars, famine, poverty, plague. You know, you got all this stuff to talk about, but you're going to stop and write an article of PewDiePie being racist? What is wrong, what is wrong with you? It, it backs my theory that the news is dying. Because, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know, d d watch the video. The thing is, with social media, people get their news from word of mouth. So news outlets are starting to die. So as a result, they've resorted to being a clickbaiting piece of shit. Uh, it's amazing. Disney severs ties with YouTube star PewDiePie after anti-Semitic really? posts. Okay, that title is fucking garbage. Anti-Semitic posts? What, what post? Show what I guarantee, I know what it is. It's the video he made about him being racist. It was like some video. He had a Nazi uniform on. I guarantee you it's that one. He did. Because he had anyway, that on. Fiverr now has decided that, that this kind of work is not enough. What video was they this? They need more. So they've expanded into pretty much fucking everything. It was a blissful moment when I discovered this. We have the low of the low. The scraping of the bottom. Fun. And lifestyle. Oh, Fiverr. Basically just become, I'll do pretty much anything. Have you guys ever seen the tinfoil hat dude on, on Fiverr? Fiverr? And as a joke, he asked people to hold up a sign that says, Death to all Jews, comma. Everyone's forgetting the second part. <laughs> they Death did to that Jews, too. Comma, oh my God. Subscribe to Keemstar. He's making a joke about Keemstar making it sound like he's anti-Semitic. Okay. That's the joke. Now, another part of this commentary, and you're making me explain a fucking joke, which is always obscene, is that he's seeing what you can get people to do for $5. It's an interesting commentary. He found a guy who impersonates Jesus. Oh, he yeah, I know this one. Hitler did absolutely nothing wrong. Hello, Jesus here. Just want to let you all know that Hitler did absolutely nothing wrong. Okay, here's what people need to understand. In 2017, Hitler is not even an icon anymore. He's not even a part of history. He's more of a meme than he is a human being that once existed. Hitler is a joke. When I play video games like Counter-Strike or whatever, when I'm online, when I'm watching YouTube videos in the comments, profile pictures, wherever you go, Hitler is there. Why? Not because everybody hates Jewish people and that everybody wants to kill the Jews and they support Hitler. It's because he's a meme. I, I don't know why. You can't explain it. Hitler became a meme. Harambe's a meme. People 
just become memes for no reason. And Hitler's one of them. I don't know why. He just became a meme. So why are you even taking half the Hitler stuff seriously, much less from a comedic YouTuber like PewDiePie? All these news outlets, you guys must have the smallest brain IQ on earth because you got to be retarded to not follow context that and understand a joke. Guys, okay? It's a joke. It's a joke. He's not serious. There's a big difference, guys. Context matters. As a Jewish person, I'm not offended. And this is the problem with this manufactured outrage. People getting offended for people who are not offended. Social you justice warriors. You don't need to warriors. get outraged on Scum. my behalf. Okay? Hitler standing on a pulpit screaming, let's kill all the Jews, is not the same as PewDiePie doing a little goof on Fiverr. They Context don't understand matters. that, though. Use your fucking brain, guys. What By the brain? way, Wall Street Journal? Aren't you like a fucking news organization? Don't you talk about, like, Wall Street? <laughs> and now you're writing about PewDiePie? His business must be slow, eh, guys? Business is slow because people know that all news outlets are pieces of shit that write bullshit articles for what? For what? To report the news? No, mate. No, no, no. It's to get money. That's all they are. Money-making machines. This shitty news team deliberately, with their education, hand-picked pieces to make an article to get this kid kick a kid he's a kid he's not even 30 years old he's not an adult he's just now like what 25 and you're gonna ruin his life at such a young age so you can write one article that may get you a little extra money you should kill yourself i'm not even joking i hate you have the news to log in and subscribe to read their article god i wonder why they're creating these sensational titles man it's probably not fueled by money it's probably not trying to clickbait people to come on their shitty website and take credit for ruining the reputation of one, one of the biggest youtubers for absolutely no reason wall street jr you guys have a stellar stellar reputation you are the best man well because i can't read this piece of shit article let's go to their youtube channel and see the video that they made to support these claims warning graphic, graphic. language and content yeah. Your discretion is advised. Really hyping this up. What is this, an ISIS beheading video, or is this just some clips from YouTube? You guys really know how to set the tone here. Listen to that music! It's like, it's like they're going into some type of uh, video of Adolf Hitler, you know? Hitler was born in this era. He killed these many Jews. He had a single plan to destroy all of the Jewish people. What is this music? He's a YouTuber that makes comedy videos, and you're throwing that type of music on there? This reminds me of like some type of serial killer documentary, or they're flashing imagery of the Jews in Auschwitz. I mean, what the hell is this? Oh my god, that's just, oh, that's disgustingly stupid. That music! Ooh, I love this spooky music. Very I know, right? scandalous. Like a little tribal. Ooh, I like Hitler that Hitler over here, you know, next to PewDiePie, to killing the Jews together. To PewDiePie. This Recently, some of his videos have briefly included Nazi messages, including Adolf Hitler, an explicit anti- Explicit! Oh my god! So he puts on a, uh, not even a, it wasn't even a Nazi outfit. It was just some type of hocus pocus, eBay generic suit that looks military. Watch the video of Hitler's as a joke, as a joke. Just, you know, in context, you understand it's irony. All right. But these guys don't understand that. And then he went on Fiverr and tried to get somebody to do something stupid for $5 and they did it. Yet people are dumb enough to pick this and make a video of it and then put Hitler in the background. Like, you know, PewDiePie really wants to kill the Jews. Oh my God. How do you even get an education if you're that stupid and work for Wall Street Journal? And they even have the video in the background with the smile as if he's now, indoctrinated. I love the fact that they're using this video of Just Felix kill me. Nazi imagery as support that he's anti-Semitic. But of course, they remove Look at that. all of the Oh my God, PewDiePie, you set yourself up with that video smile. Entitled, I'm Racist, where he lampoons the media for mischaracterizing him as racist. And they this fell is for what it people anyway. would actually think if I didn't have a chance to, you know. Because people just read the title. People just read this and they're like, oh, okay. Exactly. I see. PewDiePie's a Nazi now. That's. All right. He puts on the imagery and he watches a Hitler speech as a joke, making fun of himself and the media who mischaracterizes him. And of course, they took it out of context to show that he's anti-Semitic. It's fucking absurd. Think about this. The person who made this video and who wrote these articles looked at all of his videos, saw that he was talking about how the media rip misrepresents him, ignored that, made the conscious decision to cut out the pieces they wanted to misrepresent him again. Here's the thing. I'm sorry for pausing so much, but this really does piss me off. 
the news. They went to a news team, an intelligent group of humans that had to have gotten an education, went, watched this young guy that uploads funny videos on YouTube, the face of YouTube, and cherry-picked pieces out to misrepresent him and write a bullshit article on him. And they thought, I'm good with this. I can live with myself. I'm cool with this. And then he gets dropped from his network. He gets dropped from Disney. And by the way, may I say, Walt Disney, while we're on the topic of you dropping him, was it your founder, Walt Disney? What, wasn't he racist? Wasn't he a notorious hater of Jews and a lot of other people? I'm pretty sure I remember hearing that. And you're going to drop PewDiePie for reading an article from a bunch of cunts that wrote something on PewDiePie just to get clicks? Oh, okay. We understand the type of integrity at Disney now. This is amazing. Here's my question. If they would do this to PewDiePie, a rather insignificant human, I mean, you got politicians, you got Donald Trump, you got people that own billion dollar corporations like Bill Gates, but you're gonna write on PewDiePie and you're gonna lie through your teeth about him. What what else have they lied about? It is fucking pathetic. I mean, I'm disappointed. Look at those clickbait. It just proves to these cult of outrage people that you can achieve whatever your outrage sets your its will on. You know what I mean? You can get PewDiePie's show canceled. All I need to do is write into these fucking horseshit papers and get a sensational title. And it, and it breaks my heart that YouTube and Maker and Disney caved to this fake outrage. And let me remind you, Disney, before you get on your fucking high horse with your white powdered wig, that Walt Disney was a notorious racist and anti-Semite. Okay? So I told why don't you. you just close up shop? Why don't you just shut down the whole fucking company? Because he actually was a real racist. How and ironic. Unlike fucking Felix, who's just a comedian who didn't even make jokes that bad. That As bad. Was, he didn't make jokes bad at all. People need to stop being pussies. Grow some damn balls and stop being offended. Who cares if somebody uses a racist word or says something bad? Sure, it's bad. It has a bad context, but... What does it matter? Well, it's a word. It's just a word. No one stabbed anyone. No one took anything away. Even if PewDiePie made a joke, why do you care? What? Why do you care? Wait for the Jews to come and get mad at PewDiePie. Don't jump in ahead of them and get mad for them. That's the problem with social justice warriors. These outraged people, they don't really care about the people they're protecting. They just, they're born with the fuel to fight and that's all they want to do. They want to fight. They don't give a shit about the person they're fighting for. They just want to fight and it's ridiculous. People need to get a job, get off the couch, stop using government money to support yourself and do Result something for real to help your country. Outrage. His network maker, which is owned by Disney and YouTube dropped his new um, season of Scare Beauty Pie, which was, as I understand it, you ruined so much we money for this in kid. An episode of that, so you're killing. You the were Jews in it. Oh light. man, you're anti-Semitic. Where's my fucking spot in Scare Beauty Pie? <laughs> How Those ironic! You kick a Jew into balls by dropping PewDiePie from your network with the fake story. You're hurting a real Jew. It's gonna launch my acting career. Why are you holding down the Jew? I'm writing an outrageous letter to the Wall Street Journal to write a article about how Disney and YouTube are anti-Semitic. Watch, they they're going to do it, yeah, too. Yeah, they, they would do it, too. They don't have any morals there. No the news team has morals. This, they just, just care about money. smear campaign that is, you know, been thrust onto Felix. Even my parents, the fact that they read about this, friends are like, hey, what's up with PewDiePie? Is he an anti-Semite? Because they know I'm friends with them. Um, that is the biggest consequence of this. I think a global case of defamation, the, the hardest irony to swallow is that these people are actually doing what they are accusing Felix of doing. They are trivializing real racism by going on this campaign to accuse him of being a racist. They are trivializing people who actually hate Jews, who actually hate black people. That's Felix very true because if in the future everybody's a racist, everybody hates gays, everybody hates all this other people, you get bored of hearing it, so when someone actually is exposed for being racist, you're like, who cares? I've heard everybody's racist. I heard PewDiePie was racist. He wasn't racist. And eventually, it's not going to mean very much, you know? It, they better watch out, because that, that could happen. That could really oh, happen. racist. He's a comedian. It seems Maybe like everybody's racist every time that the news guys, has something to do it. with it. Let's not They're always exposed for something bad. Because he's not. Save your fucking outrage for the real racists. And that's why I stand with PewDiePie. And so should you. Oh. Breaking news tonight at 8. Popular YouTuber <laughs> Ethan face. Klein accused of anti-Semitism? Take a look at this disturbing A Jew place. hates a Jew? Killed the Jews. 
Take it wow, out of context. Wow, you heard it here, folks. Ethan Klein, This is going to be in the news for sure. Tune in tomorrow night at 8 to see what other videos we took out of context to prove that, that this is such man a is a face. raging anti-Semite. These claims are not extra validated. Our reports are reshared by Toy Real Monkey, and we are not responsible for any defamation that comes as a result. That here Toy Monkey? All right, so that's in the video. Obviously, this is a load of bullshit. PewDiePie doesn't hate Jews. He doesn't hate anyone. He's a comedian. He's friends with a Jew. But the news, they have always been a source of bullshit lies. If they're not reporting the weather, which even that they get wrong 90% of the time, don't even listen to them because it's all manufactured. The news has been known to be manufactured since the beginning of time. They, they want to manufacture news, so you buy stuff, you pay for subscriptions. That's all they care about. They don't care if they ruin a young man's life. They could care less. All they want is money. That's all they are. They're a business making machine. They're not here to give you unbiased news. I don't know. Hopefully enjoyed the video. Obviously he's not a racist. The news is bullshit and peace out.